All right, we're live. Can you believe it? <laughs> you can't see me? Can't see me or hear me. This is not good. All right. Oh, cool, cool, cool. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear Dev downstairs. I'm having them check to see if they can hear and see me on their computer downstairs. We've been having horrible internet issues. So it was um, partially that that made me say, let's just do a live today and not try to record something. We tried to record a video twice yesterday and it didn't work. So I said, I'm just going to go on live tomorrow because, you know, Friday's our usual big video day. And I didn't want to miss it. I didn't want to miss you guys and make you feel like we didn't care this week. And I've also been really wanting to check in about my health and about going back on the keto diet and fasting again since the new year. I haven't checked in in about two years and I think it shows. It's, it's not good, y'all. I uh, gained 23 pounds in the last 15 months and my um, diabetes which used to be in remission came back so um, I think it was January 10th I got the labs that showed my A1C was hold on let me check I got the numbers here my A1C was at 9.1% and my uh, blood glucose that morning was 214, which is not good, people, if you don't know about diabetes. <laughs> 214 is not good. Under 100, good, right? Um, so, um, yeah, so I got those bad labs on January 10th and um yeah if people are here feel free to say hi in the chat I have no idea um, <laughs> um I've never actually done a live from my phone before but that's the only way it seemed like it was gonna work this week so I did it oh look Dev's here hi Dev of course, Dove's down there, too. <laughs> so I could just turn and, and smile at her. Um, actually, I can't see her office from here, but she can hear me. Um, uh, what was I going to say? So, yeah, I've been meaning to check in about health stuff. I know that often at the beginning of the year, people are talking about their health and wanting to lose weight because everybody almost everybody overeats during the holidays um and i was not an exception this last year i was <laughs> i think you know what got me what got me was happiness it's so funny because i originally got diagnosed with diabetes um on may 17th 2019 which was almost five years ago now right and it was even worse when I first got diagnosed, my blood glucose that day was 320 and my A1C was 11.7%. And, um, yeah, my blood pressure was crazy and I was 220 pounds. So I got scared. I really, I went to go see my doctor because I was feeling like I was on the verge of a stroke all the time. And I was really tired. I felt like my body was just slowly shutting down. And so I was concerned. And then he got my labs back and he called me. I knew it was serious when he called me. My doctor, um, my old doctor was a friend of mine, and he only called me when it was something serious. So <laughs> I knew it was bad when he called me. And he said, yeah, we uh, got your labs back, and 
you have really severe diabetes and don't worry we're just gonna have to start you on some medication and whatever you're doing um, um, I want you to really pay close attention to getting your weight down you know and I was like okay so I took it really seriously and three months later um, in August of 2019, I had my A1C down to 7% and um, I got my um, blood glucose that day was 93. So pretty quickly, three months, I was able to go into remission really with diabetes because if you... Uh, if you get diagnosed with diabetes, they're happy if you just get to seven, you know, <laughs> or six and a half. They're not expecting you to ever be normal again. But actually, over the years, I continued um, with keto and intermittent fasting and some exercise and um, other things um, and got down to an A1C of five. Point one. That was my very best. And my blood glucose was pretty much normal um, until November of 2022. And like I said, I just got too happy. I met the love of my life. Some of you guys know. Uh, <laughs> um, and just thought I was a normal person and thought I could just eat what I wanted and I'd be fine and I was going to get back to it you know the healthier things the exercise and the keto and the uh, fasting later you know in a little while but <laughs> you know one day turned into two weeks and so on and so on and to be fair we did keep trying to go back to keto but I think I just had one too many exceptions. Um, oh, who's here? JG, JG. Do we know who that is, Dev? I'm not sure, but welcome. Um, yeah. Anyway. Um, so I guess a year of partying and being happy uh, led to my... Uh, led to my... Uh, uh, being at a 9.1% for my A1C and my blood glucose was 214 and I was like crap oh my god why why um so yeah I'm glad I'm glad there's two or more friends here because that's enough people to have uh, any kind of uh a meeting. I qualify for all the A's. Um, <laughs> I'm a recovering alcoholic, drug addict, um, codependent, and um, today I'm qualifying as a carboholic. My name is Sue. Yeah, it's been 44 days since my last simple carb. And I just want to say I really miss rice and pasta and bread and real chocolate with sugar um all the things i miss how they taste i miss how they smell ah cool 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 hi joy old co-worker right of devs that's awesome <laughs> um uh yeah i miss them i miss them like you might miss you know an ex right you ever get like that about exes you just you miss them so much you just want to call them you know at the oddest times you you want to be near them even though the last time you saw them they tried to kill you you still want to call them right that's how i feel about carbs i love carbs i i could just eat them all day long but it's been 44 days since my last carb and so far I've managed to abstain at least from the simple carbs I do let myself have about 20 grams of net carbs a day because um, because 
why not right <laughs> um yeah 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 i we haven't met yet joy you have to come over we'll come see you next time we're in marin um we were just there i'm trying to think when we were in marin last oh yeah we just went camping in marin for valentine's day uh, it was super fun we like it over there so you know we won't be strangers and let us know if you want to come this way we're just in Oakland it's not like two bridges it's just one bridge just one uh, <laughs> anyway um, oh camping was so awesome we went to this tiny house I wish I could show you. I wonder if it's possible to share a picture on this thing. I don't know. Let me see. I've never done a live from my phone before. No. I don't think I know how. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay. Yeah, no, I don't know how to do complicated things on my phone, but we we went to this cute tiny house in Lagunitas. It was adorable. Um, and it rained the entire time, so mostly we hung out in the tiny house, but it was really fun, and we got out of the city. That's what was most important to me, you know? Where do you live, Joy? Oh. Oh. There goes Ezzy. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to be doing more health related videos. Oh, Nevada. Okay, so not too far. And it's sort of like in between country and city, right? It's more suburban. So it's pretty chill. I imagine, um,. You probably don't have that same need to, like, get away. Um, it can just be a little too urban here sometimes. Like, <laughs> I just feel like the energy is so intense um, in Oakland. Sometimes I just want to get out of here and, and be somewhere out in the country. You know? Yeah. Um, I can't see the... Oh, here we go. Yeah, I'm going to do more live streams. One of the things I want to do is do, um, you know, these weekly health check-ins so I can report how I'm doing, which actually I didn't. I talked a lot at the beginning about the bad news, but the good news is 44 days back on track. Um, I went from uh, my blood... <laughs> Excuse the dog. Um, I went from my blood glucose being 214 to today it being 118, which is pretty awesome, right? I'm really proud of myself. Um, and uh, my uh, blood pressure has come down significantly. It was sky high back then in the 150s, 160s. Um, and today, it was mostly in the 130. So that's big progress. Big progress. And I've lost a few pounds. Not a lot, but it's, it's better than nothing. You know, and when you're older like me, I'm, I'm 58. We, well, well, I'm about to be 58. <laughs> I'm making myself older. Um, I just spent some time with my 96-year-old auntie earlier and she always makes herself older too I think it's so funny we're so old and we still like promote ourselves early like we're little kids or something <laughs> I'm like saying I'm 58 and I'm 57 and she's saying she's 97 and she's only 96 but um uh what was I gonna say yeah I've lost a few pounds um, I wish I could have lost more by now, but I think 
when we're older, it's just harder, the whole weight loss thing. And I think, especially for me, since I was like uh, recovering from um, too much blood glucose, it probably slowed everything in my system down. So, yeah, I just want to check in and talk more with folks about um, my physical health because I feel like um, it's related to our relationship with ourself, our, our physical health, and also um, our physical health is really impacted by our relationships with others. So I was toying with the idea of starting a second channel and then Dev and I talked and realized that actually this health stuff does fit in um, with our mission of helping people thrive by helping them uh, build and sustain loving and kind relationships with themselves and others. And you know, we're just going to do it. And I have a bunch of videos from two years ago that are related to health. If you want to check out more content like that, it's in there. Um, stuff about keto and keto and mental health and, um, you know, weight loss, body image, things like that. So, um, yeah, so it's not the first time Hopeful Tribe has talked about health but actually now there's a whole hopeful tribe health section if you look on the channel like a few um few rows down there's a whole playlist that's all about health and we'll throw this one here um in there too so thanks so much for coming joy do you ever um Ah, you're taking the stairs. That's cool. Do you ever, have you ever had any um, um, health issues that you had to deal with? Or have you mostly been healthy your whole life? That's good. That's really good. Well, I know there's a whole lot of people out there dealing with um, diabetes and um, obesity. Um, I know I'm not alone there. That's like like half the country, I think, at this point. So, so I'm hoping to be of service. Um, and it also supports my health, talking about it. I feel accountable. Um, to people when I talk about making healthy changes in my life, you know? Yeah, yeah, no, it's good to that none of your health problems have needed more than just making some lifestyle changes. The truth is that that when I get down to a healthier weight, I don't have to worry about any of these things either or medications or anything. Um, and I'm looking forward to that. Like, finally, I actually have never been down to my goal weight <laughs> since I got heavy. I've gotten close. I think I got, like, within nine pounds one time. Uh, but I'm looking forward to this year finally getting to my goal weight and not having to take any medications anymore. It would be so awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for being here, Joy, and anybody else who popped in. I really appreciate it. And um, check out the Hopeful Tribe Health section if you have time. And we'll see you later. We hope you feel loved and hopeful until we see you again. <laughs>